y'all. So I went ahead and got, uh, while I wait on the other stuff to come in from Julia's place, I went ahead and picked up another shade that I wanted to try before I got the one in. I actually think that the shade that I ordered is going to be the one that's closest to my um, skin tone. But I did pick up this one in Malawi because it did seem like it was going to work as well. So we're just doing a first test run just to see how it does and let you guys see the coverage and everything. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> so we're just going to play. I'm going to wait until everything else comes in for us to do like a full Juvia. Hey, for us to do like a full Juvia's place, um, whole complexion, eye cheek everything so um hopefully they'll be sending it out soon to me so we really will just be playing with the foundation today um i want to play in um this soul palette from ColourPop. i played with the mar one and i fell in love with it so i want to give this good morning for the mars pat you not oh uh, it's on my instagram yeah it's on my instagram yeah, we're going to do the soul one today with this um, Juvia's Place. I just want to see what the coverage and everything does, how it wears. So, yeah, this is, I'm going to wait until I get everything in because I got the powders, concealer, and uh, ordered all of that. So, when it comes in, I'm going to do a full video dedicated to everything Juvia's Place. So, just want to play a little bit today. Just to see what this foundation does and you know let's get let's see what all the hype is about so i didn't pick up the shade that i ordered i just wanted to see i think if this malawi shade would do better on my skin tone so we shall see so we're gonna try to do our eyes really quickly kind of keep it simple um i fell in love with that mar palette oh my god I used it again yesterday. <laughs> I've been using that thing. I don't know. I'm trying to find my uh, scissors. But yeah. So I fell in love with it. And I was like, well, I thought they had the soul one. So I do have that one for us to kind of play with as well. And I don't see my scissors go. Hmm, there they go. I'm like, I know I always put them back in the same place. So yeah, we're just going to see what this is so talking about <laughs> uh, yeah i'm gonna wait to do everything so you know i have the uh nubian what is it the coral so i'm just gonna wait until everything comes in they haven't even sent me a ship notification yet which is kind of weird so we do have the nubian three so i'm just gonna hold off on that until we get down um, and if you don't have juvia's places um really quickly their blush palettes Oh my God, you can tell these are to have guys so much wear. And I didn't really think that this one was going to work for me. But this on the um, cheeks is simply beautiful. I love it. I like even using this brown, brownish little shade. Because it has like a hint of peach in it. So if I don't really want to go in too heavy with the blush, I will use that. And you guys know this was my old faithful favorite. Still mixing those two shades together. So we'll see what we can come up with today. I'm probably more than likely just gonna use a blush from that, just to keep it simple. Well, and you know, I have the uh, the single one. I do use that one a lot as well. So yeah, did anybody else get out to pick up um, one of the foundation? Uh, let's keep it simple, y'all. We're gonna start off with the shade and get the box. Dynamite. I hope it's right. So dynamite is right there. Just gonna kind of build it up in the crease, and I gone back into really setting my oh this might be a little bright um setting my eyelid down i'm just using the white the cap on the white concealer because i have it and since i have been playing in so much color um here lately it's just been doing a good job so i just i've just been sticking with it okay it might be a hair brighter than what i was thinking but We'll make it work. You haven't? Oh, come. Oh, man. Y'all didn't make it in to get the uh, uh, foundation. And you can use your Ulta coupon and your points and everything. So that makes a difference. Difference. As far as, you know, 
Uh, let's go in with this bright shade. Let me just see if this will even show up. Chaz just got O as the name. Oh, just trying to see. Ooh, that's bright. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's different. Okay, we're going to leave it just like that out here. In this outer corner with that punch. I think you know it's going to punch up like that. Okay. I'm going to leave it just like that, too. Actually, I'm going to take that shade, New Digs, which is the lighter shade, and just go over the top of it. Just kind of blend it out a little bit to see if it looks better toned down. Just to kind of, oh, this palette is really bright. It's okay. Okay, it's okay. It really is. So we're gonna take O again and we're actually gonna lay my I'm gonna lay my brush down flat and just kinda get that built up through the crease a little bit. And I wasn't exactly expecting that. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this sometimes what I do is I play on this eye and then get it right on the other eye. That's awful. <laughs> oh Lord. So it's gonna be quite that bright. But that's okay. It's really R. Okay. This shade is deceptive because I thought this was a lighter, like a lighter peach. It's kind of coming off. Uh oh, hold on. Yeah, it's kind of coming off a little bright. I guess this whole palette is supposed to be bright then. Hey, Cynthia. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, we're gonna get to the foundation in a minute. I always, you know, do my eyes first. Oh, we starting off with dynamites on the soul palette. I didn't realize it was quite this bright. It's okay. Though. We just gonna run errands today. <laughs> oh God! But I wanted us to try the foundation together. First impressions, and then I will come back. I promise you. They sent it to me. As soon as I get my ship notification, I don't know why. I guess it's taking a minute for them to send everything out. Cause normally I would have got a ship notification by now from Julius Place. But not so. That's really bright. Like real bright. I have to tone it down with the Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's what's added. These shades are not. I didn't even swatch this palette. I just enjoyed that Mar one. So I said, Oh, I know I'm going to like this one. But this is really bright. Luckily, we don't have anywhere to go today. Oh, any day. Well, you're probably right. Which is why I want to go ahead and at least get try a different shade than the shade I ordered. I don't doubt it, but be consistent. Send me my stuff. <laughs> I'm just playing. Like I said, I've never had an issue with Juvie's Place, so you know, these things happen. Get that blended out. Really blended out. I'm just going to hopefully we'll get it soon for us to play with because i know y'all are kind of waiting and i've been waiting and you know i was really hoping the only reason why i went, did go ahead and place an order was because i was hoping that the concealers would be in store but once she answered that question on instagram about it not being in store i was like well 
that doesn't make sense not to, you know. Yes, a lot of, yes, let me show to it. But they're re, they're deceptive because I didn't really think that they were that bright. But now that I'm playing in it, it's really bright, 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 bright. Like neon bright. So we definitely don't have to, you know, spend some time like just kind of making sure that we take this other shade and blend it out. So it's not so, so bright. <laughs> I don't mind the outer corner being bright. Or like right here. So when we go in with the lid shade and pop on lashes and stuff, you can kind of see a little bit of that true, true, true color. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take one of the shimmer shades. Let's see. Uh, maybe Anthem. Oh, yeah, that might be cute. I'm just putting it down to see if that's what I want to use. Kind of tone this using my finger. And if I want to add some glitter glue, I will. I just want to see what it does first. And it's like a little bit of motel right here in the... Oh, yeah, so let me lay down, and then I'm going to go back in with some glitter glue to make everything pop. I'm just using my finger, y'all. Really want to get to the foundation part, you know? See what it's talking about. See what it's looking like. This little shade a little crumbly. So yeah, let's let's go in with some glitter glue to make sure that that adheres really well. Okay. Yeah, I don't know my face. Glitter glue, glitter glue. Am I the only one that has glitter glue as a staple? <laughs> oh Lord, staple. Just these eyes, baby. They be doing the most in the least. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Yeah, these are more neon shades. I don't know if anybody's curious. Not. Oh, they're definitely not soft and subtle. You could go in that way but i didn't really realize that they were really kind of amped up a little bit and a little bit brighter than what i thought not a bad thing just what i did it wasn't what i thought so actually we're gonna start off with motel i'm just gonna use my finger i'm trying to get that And then we'll do the same thing with um, Anthem. I'm just gonna get it moved into that shade. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of B8, B8, or 8-8. Oh, okay, I see you. Taking a little bit more of uh, Anthem. And then I'm going to take the brush that had Dynamite on it. I'm just going to go over. Just gonna do Taking a little the brush that had uh, Mm, old shade on it. It's like three O's or something. So I don't know. Just kind of pushing it through. Like the shimmer is cute. Okay. Taking a little bit more of pink from and I'm just pressing it in. Then. Okay. 
I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Taking a little bit of Motel. And then I'm going to take Anthem. Let me take a little bit of O. So I'm going to do a little patchy mess right there that I probably created when I use my finger. A little bit more of Anthony catching it on. And I'm going to take, uh, what was this shade? B8 for the inner corner. Then I'm going to take the brush that had our, let's just put dynamite on it. Definitely very bright. Not what I was expecting at all. That's all. Let's it for the eye. I'm gonna go ahead and get my face prepped. Are you ready for foundation? You are ready to lay and be laid with the foundation. The foundation. Woo! That's eyes right now. We definitely gonna have to come back and I'm just finishing up nicely. I really like this shade anthem. Like a rose goldy type thing. I really like that. We'll come back to our eyes, but our eyes are pretty much done, okay? Uh -oh. Go ahead and clean this stuff off my face. Take this off and we have our little sharpness right there. I do like the little sharp cleanup look, especially for my little hood eyes. I'll make sure we are all blended together. Okay. Just going to do a little bit of eyeliner, and this is uh, the benefits one. Yes, I bought the travel sizes on. I bought the travel sizes of these on purpose. I think you get your bang, your money's worth. It's not too too bad. It is bright, but it's not too too bad. I'm sure once we get everything on, it's gonna come together rather nicely.
Let's put down. Hold on one second, y'all. I'll drop my top. Go oh, literally. Can't have it if I want to. Can't have it. Going in with the can't stop, won't stop. Hopefully, it'll work well with the Juvia's Place uh, foundation. But you guys know this is my primer of choice. It's so hot here in Memphis. Ooh. So, let's just see what it does with this Memphis heat. Like if you make it in Memphis, you can make it anywhere. <laughs> it was like 90 degrees the other day. <laughs> Ooh, sweet. Mascara. Just a little bit of mascara down. Just using the big shot colossal. Good morning, Regina. Good morning, It is the Colossal Big Shot from Maybelline. Alright, now that this down, let's just put a little bit of um, smoothing primer down from Tarte. Just to fill us in. You guys know this is my holy grail pore filler. I'm gonna color correct just a little bit. And know that this is supposed to be like full coverage foundation. I'm gonna do it just like I would any other foundation. I'll color correct under my eyes more so than anywhere else. Because they are what? that interesting now this is a lot brighter than what I thought this palette was going to be that's why you need to I probably should have swatched it in store <laughs> uh, I was like eh, it'd be alright but I love that Mar palette so much and this formula is way better than that Dream Street palette I got from them I hate that palette I hate I spent my money on it it's like it never adheres um, I wonder if I need a little oil on my face. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip it. And we'll skip it. I'm gonna color correct just a little bit. This is a Black Radiance HD corrector. And really, this is where I create under my eyes a little bit more. Just so things are not peeking through. Okay. Set for a minute. Take my beauty blender. This is natural beauty blender that I use for you know, air, you know when I don't. I use it mainly for color correcting. I use my color corrector. So I use three sponges daily. The other one is I use the other one that my Sonia could shook. That's my holy grail. I use that for my foundation, concealing powder, everything else.
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this light down just a little bit so that when I go in with the foundation, you guys can see it. And also, I want to put part of this on my IG story. So it's just like first impressions anyway. Okay. So I did pick up Malawi. I ordered Legos a lot. I think it's Legos. That's the shade I ordered. And I did hear that a little bit of this goes a long way. So we will not be doing a lot of it. I'm going to use my... I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. Yeah, I do think this is a little dark. But concealer and stuff, we can correct that. But I'm not going to... Uh, yeah, that's a little dark. So I think the... Oh, but the coverage. The shade that I ordered is probably gonna be the correct shade. Hey, Bridget. So you don't need a lot of it. Ooh. So if you thought you had an imperfection, <laughs> this is covering up every. Oh, it's pretty though. It's just the wrong shade. So the shade that I ordered, Lagos, Lagos, is probably gonna be the correct shade. This is not bad. I can use um, oh, I can use my uh, correct my concealer to correct it for now. But yeah, uh oh, yeah, come on through here. Mm hmm Yes, come on through, come on through. I'm just gonna praise this a little bit of it. Um, oh this time I covered up every flower. It's good. So this is my problem side over here. This is my problem side. Hmm. Yeah, this is maybe a shade darker than what I'm used to. It's not bad. So, don't think that. So, I'm just going to do my regular concealing. Because really, as y'all see how quickly I blended that out as well. Just, um, like, it made my skin look pretty. Yeah, okay. I guess y'all didn't caught on to the F camo because I came in. What shade? This is Malawi. Um, this is 230. But I ordered La Lagos. Lagos? Lagos. But since they haven't confirmed it, I just want to go ahead and play with the foundation. I saw. What shade did you pick up, Bridget? Yeah, I'm going to Like that said, I'm actually gonna prep my eyelashes um, right now. I just been repairing this these drugstore ones that I've fallen in love with, and they are M157 from here. Hold on. This is uh, Miss Express Lash. These are silk, but I like them. I really do. I'm just letting it dry a little bit underneath there. 14 not rolling. 14 not rolling. Mm, okay I don't even remember what I should have just stayed in also but I didn't have time yesterday to like do an arm swatch um, and what I think you should do is find your is really like if they sell your foundation yes I kind of saw your video just a little bit if they did if they hey Stephanie if you have if they sell your perfect shade at also what i would suggest you do good morning nicole what i would suggest you do is go in the store swatch the shade that i think you need 12 oh, okay um go in the store with and swatch your your foundation shade that you know is a great match for you and then from there swatch the juvia's place shades because to me the undertones is this is kind of calming down a little bit i know it's still just like almost like one shade a little too dark which is okay i'm not really worried about that part because like i said i did order my 
the, the Lago, Lago shade based off of the shade comparison charts that they had for Fenty 410. But that would be my suggestion. If they sell the shade, your foundation in Ulta, swatch it, let it dry down a little bit, and then go swatch the Juvia's Place stuff to make to see which one gets you there. Because really, my perfect shade match is um, Cover FX or the um, Estee Lauder Edit. It, no, child, Estee Lauder Double Wear. <laughs> I'm just prepping my eyelashes. <laughs> oh, Lord. Is that the part? No, this is actually... I'm trying to save all my Juvia's Place for a big Juvia's Place video. So, this is the Soul one from um, ColourPop because I love the Mar one so much that I just wanted to get... Uh, go ahead and play in the Soul one so that when everything came in, I could do like a true, true... I don't know. I saw the Uma. And I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, acting like I don't want to try it. I do. I just got to figure out which palette I want to try. Because I want to give them a fair shake as well. But I, w I won't be buying, you know, uh, anything too crazy. Really, that's going to be my later. After I finish all this juice place stuff. <laughs> Let me go in with a creamier little bit of um uh, let me see. Let me just go in. Yeah, it is expensive, but it's it's on the it's on the high end side, so it's not even on the side where Jesus place is. But this this thing on <laughs> foundation. Oh, this is just the Morphe, what is this? The Morphe concealer that I'm using to kind of highlight with. But yeah. I really want to try it too. I just don't want to pay a price for it. <laughs> I really do want to try it. <laughs> I really do. But I will get the Uma before I buy anything else. Because I do want to try. I like that palette that I saw. They're all pretty. Um, so, yeah, I do want to give them a try. So, yeah. On my eyes is the Soul palette. It's so pretty. And these, to me, these two palettes. I'm just going to show you this. Your Morphe Concealer. Let's see. This one is. Hold on, yeah. I just dropped the dark when I come to it here. This is. Ooh, you would ask me. I'm about to turn the light back up. Can't okay, see. Uh, C C three point six five, and the one I use for contouring is C. What did I say? C five point six five was a no. The Uma palette was a no. Woo. Okay, because that's a lot of money for a no. I mean, I guess you you know you can take it back. Yeah, I'm just using that shade to kind of brighten up a little bit. Because I know that it's just a little bit too dark. What I'm doing. And those little color pop pop palettes are like twelve bucks. The only thing she was like for was a bit <laughs> the lifted. Tiffany has seen me for you sound like too much money to get. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can always take it back. That's the good thing about it. You can always take it back. If it doesn't perform up to your standards. And they asking a lot for these make these little makeup. I'm just going to contour it just a little bit. I'm going to set my face with my 
favorite powders from Fenty. So I did. I'm glad I waited to place my order because I was able to get the powders ordered with my foundation and concealer. Just forgot to get the dang on makeup bag. Give me a lot of darkness because I'm already kind of dark right there. I was like, oh, oh, good. I thought it was, how much was it? But I thought it was cheaper. It cost more than fifty. I think they're supposed to be up there, like, like a, you know, for real, for real brand, like a high end brand, right? Woman, oh, thirty nine. How much is fifty? Oh, look what I just did. Mm -mm -mm. It just started for oh okay. Lord is something on my freaking sponge. It's causing me all this drama. Oh, from my eyelashes. Let me go ahead and put these eyelashes on and see if it, it made me mad. Messing up. Oh yes, it is beautiful. I love the cover of X1. I really do. Okay, so that just really helped this look. <laughs> Let's set our face with our fancy powder. You know what? Everything looks really, really pretty. Like, it just looks well put together. That makes sense what I'm saying, you guys? Like, nothing... It's, I look like it's flawless. Yeah, I messed up and got some of my sponge thing. Hold on, let me go in with my foundation right there. I, <laughs> I was sitting up here thinking for the, the word. Like, what do I feel like I look like? I look... Every, like, there is nothing peeking through on my skin you guys like normally you know i can still kind of like see the skin and i it's not like a bad thing to me like i'm okay with that but when i'm looking at it right now you are so correct it looks completely airbrushed in a good way Girl, don't y'all tell me. Bridget, did you do a wear test? Bridget is on here. If you don't follow her on her, she has Keeping It Simple. I think it's Keeping It Simple with Bridget. It's her um, YouTube channel. Yes, I'm going to wear this all day today. And in Memphis heat. <laughs> but y'all know I overset my face. So, because what happened is I'll get on a patio and... Well, for me, I just want my face to last. So I don't want to do all this work and my everything starts to break down. So I over powder a little bit. So I'm going to wear it. And what I do is um, do check-ins for sure on Instagram. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. Then what I may do is, um, well, I can do that too. I'll put up the results. No, it's not even extremely matte. That's the thing. I thought it was going to be that way, but it's not that. It's just almost like it's just a put on a whole nother layer of skin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the way I feel. Like I just put on a whole nother layer of skin. Like somebody else's flawless skin. That's what I think, feel like, in a way. I don't know what happened right here, but I'm leaving the act right. Let me get the fancy hazelnut. 
is my all over face powder. Now this Juvia's face done. Woo! I'm here for it. it it's going to, and this powder may help mine because it's a little bit lighter, so it may help a little bit of that darkness that I feel like I got from the foundation. I'm going to wear it regardless, but, and then I can make it work until my other foundation comes in. The one that I actually ordered. Lagos. This is still... Thank you. It is so, so cute, y'all. This is pretty. Oh, I can't wait to take pictures. <laughs> I am here for it. I bought her foundation concealer so and think she wants to come on Cosmetic bag. I wish she had released some. Me too. I totally forgot to get the bag, though. That just kind of some I'm just gonna have to probably just eat the. I don't know. You know what? That's not true. What I'm going to do is since I know she didn't um, do conceal. I mean, she's not going to be the concealer. I only bought one concealer. So I'm going to buy two more concealers in the bag. I only bought one concealer for testing purposes to get my, you know, so when it comes in, I can do a full face of Julia's place. I was a little upset about this. I was like, dang, but I'm glad I didn't do it when I thought about it because now I, I at least could get the powder. I don't know why this ain't speaking, but you gotta come on too. I got stuff to do. Hold on. I don't know. This one is kind of hopeless, so let's just go ahead and take it off and fix it. <laughs> we need to stay down. We got stuff to do. We gotta be out in this heat, testing this Julia's place. No, I haven't used any of the crane case stuff. She's coming to Memphis for an event here soon. Um, I don't know. Just, it's just not on my radar. You ordered her stuff before? If you ordered it, let me know. I'm just not... Yeah, I'm just not buying as much makeup this year. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. Stuff, Only stuff that I really, really want to try and play with. And if it's not... I don't need a whole bunch of expensive stuff because I think I found some of my staples. You know, to get me through trying to see some. Okay, so remember I said, um, hold on. I'm going to add um, some bronzer. I'm just going to use the fancy one. Which, oh, okay. I'm just going to do the fancy bronzer. And then you know what? I want to see how the foundation goes with my Wet n Wild setting powder. I would love to see if that would work. Because <laughs> $20 for a foundation is not bad at all. Yeah, I like her pot. Now, I did not like, did you spray that dang on spray? That stuff was burning my face. I was like so mad. I thought I was going to have a breakout right then and there. Oh, my God. That spray from Huda Beauty. I'm starting to believe what people said. They said that ain't nothing but hairspray. <laughs> that stuff was so, ooh, losing mm -mm, earrings. It was so, ooh, in your face. I was like, mm mm. And then it did start stinging as soon as I, yes, that ball spray. I was like, mm-mm. Nah, I'm good on her. But it, I got my sprays. I don't like fancy. I don't let me to do. Crap, I'm everything. Hold on, y'all. Hold tight. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm dropping everything. Let me kind of bronze up my nose a little bit. Mm -hmm. Time is. 
think it was like 11. No, oh, yes, 11, 20, 30. <laughs> you loving the chill up cheek? Cynthia Jones. Oh, okay. Hey, Cynthia Jones. I have a client named Cynthia Jones. Um, so let's add a hint of um, Yes, it's beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. It is quite stunning together. Um, I was looking for my makeup cons. I mean, my contour. I'm just going to use whatever's on these brushes. Kind of, you know, a little bit right there. More chill. And I'm going to use Juvia's Clays. If you don't have this palette, you are doing yourself a disservice. It is so beautiful. And it does show up on our beautiful skin. I'm actually going to take the shade Lena right here. The not so bright one. And just kind of pop a little bit right here on the cheek area. Because my eyes are doing uh, the most right now. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, yeah. Just getting it mixed in with that bronzer to give me a soft wash of color. Yes, if you don't have this palette, you are doing either one. Or both. I have both her blush palettes. And I didn't think this one was going to work. But it's actually a beautiful, beautiful palette. Yes, 25% off the other day. But I didn't need, I don't need, I got, I don't need no palettes. I got all of her palettes at this point. So I'm all caught up. <laughs> all caught up, as they say. I'm trying to make sure that... Um, eyelashes are on yeah, the key to the, the eyelash game is to really let your eyelash glue get really tacky before you try to attach it and that's really what's going to help it stay um cheek you know what let's just stay in the Judas place one I'm going to use that shade right there Zoba and really, I'm just going to lay it down, but I'm going to come back to it after I spray my face. Pretty. Yes, I, I thought it was pretty. I looked at her. Um, okay, so let's talk, y'all. I like Beauty Bakery, but her little product sizes are just a little too tiny for me for the price point. Like the powders, let's say. That's the only thing. And I haven't really... I wish they would put her foundations in there as well. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> <gasps> y'all don't wanna you know I don't be wanting to hurt no bad and feeling but that was like mm, that's a little expensive but mm, it's not like we don't do it anyway I don't know why I'm having you know I, I don't know why I do that because really they all are expensive really when you get the wish makeup it was $40 <laughs> You just placed this whole thing was what a few bucks. Mm -mm. Okay, and I'm not saying you know do you boo, but I just think something like that those powders. When I started looking at the price, that's another reason why I'm sticking with the fancy powders. You get way more product for a cheaper price. Now y'all know I was rolling hard for Huda. But a little setting powder. But I was determined to find me a fancy one that would work underneath my eye. Because I just feel like the price point. <sighs> okay. Yeah, the foundation is pretty. It is very pretty. Very, 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 very pretty. 
Ooh. Mm -mm, see. And I just think I don't use enough blush for that. And maybe because I got a lot of blushes. Right. <laughs> so Judy's place is gonna win all the time with us, is what I'm hearing. Especially if she keeps this up, like taking her time as far as when she, you know, releases her stuff. And I do wish she had kind of just waited and released the um, while my eyelids are wet, I'm going to go in and kind of fix up my eyeshadow a little bit where I may have lost a little bit of the color. And I'm just using my finger to kind of re-emphasize some of that. But yeah. I just wish she had just released the powders and concealers and all of that at the same time. If that would be my one thing that I would say. Because it would have just made it a lot easier to say you want to do it. I guess she was just trying to get it out to everybody. And, you know, she went after a lot more influencers. Um, you know, I've determined that I'm not really going to really... Um, make up Shayla doesn't review Julia's place, and I don't know why. Like, she's the only other influencer that's up there. But you don't you don't review her stuff, but... I don't know why. If you can afford, you can afford to buy any of it, but you don't want to support her because she didn't send, don't send, or can't send you at the time. Maybe back then, she couldn't send you a PR package. Maybe I don't know. But she only seems to want to review stuff that she can, that she's getting PR for. But I'm like, uh, girl. I don't know, and you know who she hangs out with and all this stuff. You know, that little crew of people. Of course, they would never review Julia's place. I don't think they have. I think I saw. Did I see Mac Daddy review something from them? I don't know. I don't watch him. He's a little bit over the top for me. Now everything's looking at my skin. While it's just a little damp, we're gonna go back in and put a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna mix those two shades together. Ooh. Yes, while the skin is wet, baby. Give me light. Now look all Gucci. Look at that. Woo. Okay. <sighs> Finish up the under eye. Make her say the only view follow she sees. She doesn't spend her own points. The only friend she reviews is Shinke. That's a shame. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about the other day. I think I'm gonna, you know, nothing against her. I wish her the best. But you shouldn't just want to do people who send you stuff. You should be adventuresome and try to bring people stuff that they may not know anything about. And do this place, even though she has done a great job to me of really getting her name out there now. Especially with the influencers and stuff like that. Um, I wish she would kind of reach back and do somebody again. I'm always wanting somebody to do something different. Like an unknown, somebody who's now, you know, don't have a million subscribers. And I understand you won't send your product. If you can't send me three or four foundations, ask me to figure out which one I need. Just one of them, you know. I have an audience that likes to see me play in makeup and do this place is one that I like to play in. But I don't know. I was just always looking for the underdog to sometimes come through and win. And not that I'm an underdog. You know, we all can buy and do what we want to do. And I'm okay with that. I guess I'm, I would, at this age, nothing surprises me. But I would really like to be shocked. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Okay, so we're going to go back into the Soul Palette. And we are going to... Oof, is, I was gonna, let's go for it. We're going to pick up the uh, Bright Orange Shade. I think it may. Okay, yeah. So it'll probably be okay with this under here. I'm just spend a little time getting it packed on underneath there. That's all I'm saying. I just would like to be shocked one time. 
Well, here I know that. Okay, I'm just gonna keep packing that on. Oh, which was smart. Are you right? Because Nikki Tutorial has a following. You're right. And now I see that she's able. I, she sent it out to everybody. I ain't mad at her. But I just feel like as a, since they did have the audience, I don't think you should have had to wait for her to send you this P, the, her, a PR package to support her as a brand. That's all I'm saying. It's like this is pennies to them. Is it too bright? I don't think so. No. It ain't like, I know you. I know they have had to have heard of her before she sent them the PR package. Sometimes you need to bust out your own world. That's just my once again. Who am I? And I'm gonna go in with this shade at the top. What is the shade called? Dynamite. And just kind of blend it in a little bit better. Anybody else waiting to be shocked? Not by drama, but just like some brand doing something so unheard of. <laughs> is that asking too much? That might be asking too much. There's a little fog out over here. Get off my face. That's not my look. I do want to emphasize this corner a little bit. So I'm going to pick up the middle shade. Truly, you know the struggle of our people really hard. Because, yes, you think she would do it because she would. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's what I think, too. That's what I'm saying. It wouldn't cost her nothing. But she don't have time to go to old tech yet, so that's not her store or whatever. Really. The people that... You know, she hang out with. That's their thing. They're spending money, money, money. I ain't mad at her. You guys are hating. No, I'm just simply saying what I think. You know, we don't do it for each other. Who's going to do it for us? Trust me, as a business owner. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't, if we don't do it, it's not gonna get done for us at all. So y'all can keep with that. Oh, you got to expand beyond the black base. Yeah, but that's how you get a base most of the time is with the, the people of your color, of your same color. All right. Well, his he might have ulterior motives, so I'm not I'm not bashing him. I like I don't have a a bone. Ooh. So we're going to use this color Floaties, this little bright orange shimmer. We're going to use that for our inner corner highlight. Since we done went bold, orange, bright, everything else, we might as well continue. Ooh, that's cute. With the theme. And I think we would almost have used every shade in here. Yeah. I don't know. What did Jeffree Star have to say? You know, I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry. So, we definitely will have to do a new lip or something. I don't know. Should I be bright on bright? What do we think? What are we thinking? It's kind of cute, huh? Let me find my, uh... Oh, so he came out with his own? Oh, gotcha. And I think her setting powder is decent. I guess the price point doesn't make sense to me. I definitely, um... 
take this to the pool with you today. This is a pool look. <laughs> to me, anyway. Alright. How does that look? I think, I think we got something. We got something started in here. Alright, so you guys know the drill. What am I about to do? About to go get it crack a lacking and clean up my hair. I mean, fix my hair. Put on a lippy. And then, yeah. Put on a lippy. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna be living my life like it's golden out here today. Because <laughs> I'm really gold. Coral gold. That's cute, though. I like it. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you, homie. I ain't mad at Did you see the Lion King makeup set? Uh, who was that by? I saw it on Trend Mood, I think, right? I didn't look into the details of it. Oh, yeah, I saw Beyonce. She looked nice. She looked beautiful. Yep. Oh, okay, British on. Okay, yeah, she looked beautiful. I saw her. I ain't mad at her either. Let's clean this up a little bit. Okay. Pretty much the look. Let me get my uh, hair and stuff Ooh, finished. And we will be on Instagram in a minute with some pictures. Hopefully you guys can pop on over there and tell me, you know, your thoughts on my bright, corally red, whatever this may be. <laughs> Little eye look. Uh, yeah. Letting that in. And I'm going to wear this foundation all day today. And I do know that it's maybe just a shade too dark for me, but that's okay. We can kind of fix those things with concealer. Uh, yeah. Gonna do my final spray down before I take my pictures, which is the Morphe Setting Spray. All right. Until the next time, you guys, I'll see you on the next turn. Follow me over on Instagram, K M B R L Y I N. I look tan, right, girl? Hold up now. <laughs> I'm going to finish my lips and everything, okay? And then we're going to do a flash test just to make sure that we don't get any flashback. Which I don't think we will because of my setting powders. I've never gotten any flashback. Alright, until the next time I see y'all on the next